Welcome to BioVet. John Ivankovich and Jeff Cole here. And today we're going to look at a Chevy 210. 210 Coast, yes. Now, 210, I know I got a Bel Air. Can you help me understand the differences? Well, just as like a, maybe a, a, a Corvette, an LT123, the different package levels. Okay. That's basically the difference. Most people seeing this go down the road are going to assume it's a Bel Air. Right. Very similar look uh, from the, the Tri 5 era, 55, 6, and 7. Uh, main difference is the post behind the front door there. But what I like about this car, a oh, true example of what you can take an original car and turn it into these days. Okay. And put the modern convenience to it. Not only do we have an excellent, excellent paint job, the chrome is stunning on this car. This, folks, is a brand new Crate 383 stroker compared, uh, coupled with a brand new 700R4 transmission. Both have less than 5,000 miles on them since this car was built. Also have the power brakes, power steering, and you'll notice a new air compressor here for the muggy days here in Georgia. Shoot. So again, it's like you step back in time with the body, but you have all the modern convenience and security and safety of a, of a modern drivetrain here. That's great. With the creature comfort. Great car to take couple to Florida. That with the, oh gosh, yeah. Paint, <laughs> couple that with the paint job and the custom leather interior. This is a gorgeous car. Now this is the kind of car, John, in the last few years, it seems like the generation of people who own these have all reached retirement age and they've kind of flooded the market. So this is a much of a bargain compared to what it might have been four or five years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. This car, we have it listed under 60000 which is a steal. You cannot build this car for anywhere near that money. But this car might have brought an extra ten, fifteen, twenty thousand 20000 a few years ago. Wow. But because of current conditions, which we have to stay on top of here, of course. Yep. That's where the, the value on this car is now. But I, I notice it's got power steering, power brake, front disc brakes. Yeah, it has drum brakes in the back, but it has a new modified uh, disc brake up front. You know, anytime you change these engines and put this much power into a, into a resto mod, as my grandfather once said, if you got that much dough, you better have some wool. So it's going to be able to not only run and run well, but you can stop this car too. Again, modern uh, security, safety under the hood, modern convenience. Yep. Yeah. And the car is stunning. Oh, it's gorgeous. We got a new set of rims. Yeah, I mean, again, this, the gentleman who, who built this car, very meticulous. Uh, I won't say he didn't spare any expense, but it doesn't look like he cut corners, John. He didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't do a half, half, uh, halfway job, in other words. He did, he did a complete job. Gorgeous car. Again, one of those if you maintain it, drive it, enjoy it for many years. I always tell people they're a lot more fun driving than looking at because I just, I'm one of those guys that likes to drive them. This sounds like the car for that. Drive it, enjoy it, and if you happen to hit a local car show on the weekends, great. But you could even drive this to work. Yeah, this is, the, this is for the gentleman who wants to jump in and go to the turkey run in Daytona. Okay. He can make it down there from Atlanta and back with relative ease where the original engine may or may not get him down there and back. <laughs> Great. This one, you know, plus he has the comfort of the security of the disc brakes, the AC, power steering, things that they might not have had back in 55, 56. Yeah. That means mama might go. True. <laughs> Folks, 770-605-2056 or Jeff? My cell is 770-883. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see all this fun new inventory first. And we'll look forward to seeing you all out on the road. Thank you, John.